So once you've downloaded your class files, head to your usual downloads folder. I'm going to go to my downloads folder and here the store is a zip file. In this case, for this course, they're called AI intro. Now, this is a zip file and I'm going to double left click on that zip to get a fresh set of files in there. Now I'm going to add that to my desktop and that's where I'm going to work from in this course. It might be worthwhile keeping the zip file in that folder in there or somewhere nearby on your hard drive. You can then unzip a fresh set of files and have another go. Don't forget, you can always go back to the main course page on the website and download a fresh set of files whenever you need to. So I'll close this down and then just very quickly is to open up that main project folder. And in essence, this is really what it is. Three of the five folders in here are things that I usually have for every Illustrator project and have done whilst ever working in agencies and was working as a freelance graphic designer. With the exception of two, the bonus folder and the install fonts. So the bonus folder literally contains all of the assets for the bonus exercises that you'll find at the back of your book. The install fonts, well, if you're not on one of the newest versions of Adobe Illustrator and you're not on the Creative Cloud, well, then you'll be using a version of Illustrator that is really quite old and that's uh, sort of pre-2012. If that's the case, then you may well need to install these fonts to work through some of the exercises. And if I go back, the remaining three folders, essentially I'll have an info folder where I'll store all of the assets that are supplied by either a client or maybe a photographer or any other third party. There's one place where I know I can find my text, my images and reference material. So everything is stored inside of there. We then have the working folder. This will contain all of the work in progress documents. And you can see these are all Adobe Illustrator files, hence the file extension of .ai, which literally stands for Adobe Illustrator. And then finally, when I've finished my project artwork, I'll then export them to an output folder. So that's essentially what we're going to be working with in terms of folder structure throughout this course.